Welcome to the Art of Slumber, where we embark on a nightly journey into the world of sleep. I'm your host, Ray. Together, we'll explore the fascinating landscape of sleep, unraveling its mysteries, and understanding its profound impact on our health, happiness, and well-being. In each episode, we'll dive into topics like the science behind dreams, the effects of sleep on the brain, and practical tips for a restful night. We're here to unlock the secrets of a good night's sleep. Whether you're a night owl, an early bird, or someone who just loves to dream, this podcast is your sanctuary for all things sleep. So, dim the lights, get cozy, and let's discover the power of sleep together. Today we're going to cozy up with a topic that's close to all of us, sleep cycles. Now grab your favorite cup of tea, find a comfy spot, and let's unravel the nighttime ballet our brains and bodies perform each night. So what are sleep cycles? Think of them as the chapters of a book your body reads every night. Each cycle lasts about 90 minutes, and we go through several of these each night. They're like the rhythm of a gentle wave, taking us deeper into sleep and then bringing us back near wakefulness only to dip down again. First up, we have the light sleep stages. This is where you dip your toes into the sleep pool. Your body starts to relax, your heart rate slows down, and you're in this beautiful state between wakefulness and deeper sleep. It's like easing into a warm bath. Then we delve into deep sleep. This is the VIP section of our sleep club. It's all about restoration here. Your body repairs itself, builds bone and muscle, and even strengthens the immune system. If sleep was a battery, deep sleep would be the charger. And now, let's talk about the star of the show, REM sleep, or rapid eye movement sleep. This is where dreams come alive. Your brain is almost as active as when you're awake. REM sleep is a fascinating world, where memories get processed and stored. It's like your brain's own nightly file sorting system. You might be wondering, why cycle through these stages? Well, each cycle plays a different role. It's like a nightly tune-up for your body and mind. And the balance? It's crucial. Too little deep sleep, and you wake up feeling like you wrestled a bear. Not enough REM? Your memory might get a bit foggy. So, how can we master these cycles? It starts with the basics, a regular sleep schedule, a comfy sleep environment, and maybe cutting down on that late night scrolling. Your body and mind will thank you for it. Sleep is far from a static state. It's a dynamic journey we embark on every night. This journey is a cycle between two distinct types of sleep, REM and non-REM. Each plays a unique role in rejuvenating our minds and bodies. Let's talk REM sleep first, shall we? REM stands for rapid eye movement. During this stage, something fascinating happens. Your eyes dart around rapidly in all sorts of directions. But here's the catch. They're not sending any visual information to your brain. This is the stage where dreams come to life, painting stories in our mind's eye. In contrast, non-REM sleep is a different ballgame. It's more like a deep, serene meditation for your body. There's no eye movement like in REM. The non-REM stage comes first, setting the stage for the body to wind down and relax. Here's how the nightly cycle plays out. We start with non-REM sleep, diving deeper into relaxation, then shift gears into the dream-filled REM sleep. After a bout of REM, we circle back to non-REM, and this cycle repeats throughout the night. It's like a beautifully choreographed dance, each step crucial for a refreshing sleep. REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep, is like the grand finale of a nightly show in our brains. It usually kicks off about 90 minutes after we fall asleep. Picture this. You're on a sleep journey, and REM is that unexpected, adventurous destination. The first stop in REM land is quite brief, around 10 minutes. But as the night progresses, each visit to the stage gets longer, sometimes stretching up to a full hour. 
During REM, things get lively. Your heart rate picks up, your breathing becomes faster, and your brain, well, it's like it's putting on a Broadway show. You see, REM is when you have those intense, vivid dreams. Your brain is bustling with activity, painting stories and images in your mind. And here's why REM is crucial. It's like a gym session for your brain. This stage stimulates regions involved in learning and memory. It's also linked to the increased production of proteins, those building blocks for our cells. Babies, those little bundles of joy, they're in REM sleep up to 50% of their slumber time. That's a lot compared to us adults, who spend only about 20% of our sleep in REM. It's a testament to how critical REM is for development and growth. Non-REM sleep has three distinct stages, each vital to our overall health and well-being. Think of these stages as the steps leading us to the dreamy peaks of REM sleep. Stage 1 is like the welcoming entrance to sleep. It's that light, drifting-off phase where you're just letting go of wakefulness. Your eyes are closed, but a nudge or a noise can easily wake you. This stage is like a brief introduction, lasting just 5 to 10 minutes. Moving on to stage 2, we find ourselves in a state of light sleep. It's a preparation phase where your heart rate begins to slow and your body temperature drops a notch, getting you ready for deeper sleep. This stage can last from 10 to 25 minutes. And then, we reach stage 3, the deep sleep stage. It's the heart of non-REM sleep. In this stage, waking you up is no easy feat. If you were to be awakened, you'd likely feel a bit disoriented for a few minutes. It's in this deep sleep that the body becomes a silent, efficient worker, repairing tissues, building bone and muscle, and fortifying the immune system. As we age, our sleep patterns evolve. We tend to sleep more lightly and spend less time in that rejuvenating deep sleep. It's interesting because even though we may sleep less deeply as we get older, our need for sleep doesn't diminish. As we close today's journey into the world of sleep, I hope you found our exploration enlightening and soothing. Remember, every night is an opportunity to nourish our minds and bodies through rest. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share your thoughts and experiences with us. Your feedback and stories are a valuable part of our sleep journey together. As we part ways for now, remember that a good night's sleep is a cornerstone of a healthy, happy life. We're here to guide you, support you, and accompany you on the path to restful nights. Thank you once again for spending this time with us. May your nights be peaceful and your dreams be sweet. Until next time, I'm Ray, wishing you a serene and restorative slumber. Good night, sleep tight, and we look forward to welcoming you back to the art of slumber.